This is a, a movie where sort of the, the scenes of the father come back to hunt the children, you know? It's sort of, a, you know, it's like a Western. Um, it's a movie about destiny in many ways. And, um, and, you know, it's an urban Western. And so I knew how to do that. I knew how to, to, to you know, have a character, you know, like Liam's character that carries a heavy burden and, and all of his life trying to have that burden on him and not on his kids. And that's a very honorable thing to do, but maybe, you know, goes a, the wrong way about doing it. And eventually um, his uh, next generation, his children kind of have to face the mistakes that his father did in the past. So it was something that um, I think a lot of people can uh, identify with. I knew that Liam was perfect for it. It's just after having worked, at that time I had only worked with Liam on uh, Unknown. And I, as I was reading it, I could already see him uh, being uh, Jimmy Conlon. So for me, it was, it was a no brainer. I would work with Liam a thousand times, and um, he has an incredible range. And I think that in all of the movies that I've done with him, three in a row, um, we've done different characters and different stories that they don't have to do at all with each other. And it's, we've proven that, uh, you know, you can work with the same actor and do completely different movies. He's just an honest, hard worker, actor, so easy to work with, so respectful of the process, and just a damn good actor. For me, it was very important, you know, having Liam to have sort of a friend, foe, because it's a combination uh, adversary, um, in, in, in have a great actor in that, and Ed Harris was obviously the perfect choice for that because he's both um, intense and yet very approachable and, and human and such a wonderful actor. I love Joel. I've known Joel for a long time. I've been wanting to work with Joel for a very, very long time. I've been a fan. He is so powerful in so many ways um, that uh, if you're going to be Liam Neeson's son, you got to live up to it. And you cannot just be a, a look-alike or somebody trying to pretend, you know, to be strong. You got to be strong, and mentally, and physically, and and emotionally. And and Joel is like that as a person, and he is definitely a leading man. But I wanted to get a sense of really seeing all of New York. You know, I think to me it was very important that in a movie called Run All Night, you just don't want to run from Brooklyn to Queens. You want to run through all of New York, you know, and and it and and we made an effort, a big effort, to basically go into Manhattan several times, see you know, Madison Square Garden, um, all around, you know, Queens, Brooklyn, the Bronx. We've really shot everywhere.